mind is the field your mind is the field and with what kind of seed you sow take care if you don't sow with the lord if your whole focus is not on the lord you will find all that belongs to the enemy will found in you sometime people ask i am a good man i want to be good i want to be great but why my mind is getting corrupted why i am not able to pray why i am not able to grow why all kinds of dirty thoughts come to me i am praying i am reading the word of god why my mind goes somewhere else be nicely want to pray with the lord suddenly my mind goes why can't i play this music why can't i play that drama why can't i play go go and talk to this fellow why can't i go to talk to that guy why can't i do my mind becomes restless why when you don't cultivate not because of water water is there for both and huh? when you don't cultivate now in this room if we want to have if the if the darkness wants to come what has to take place ha huh? switch off the light the moment the light goes off are we calling please please come come we like to see our face in you darkness please come we don't understand only in the light we are bright the light makes us to bright be bright even dark sometime i feel in front of the light if he stands they take photo no as though we are like a far in a so bright then then one day i was looking am i looking so bright then the, from inside why said no it's because you stand in front of the light as long as you stand in front of the light the light will brighten you aha uh-huh. the moment you move away from the light where you land that will take your face if you stand in front of the tube light as long as the tube burns as how much the power the tube has if you go out of that do you understand as long as you have the light that's why jesus said the son of man has come as light into the world and when the disciples up jesus were asked look the our disciple john the baptist disciple we all fasted and we all uh, yet we all uh, made all the fastings all the sacrifice and your disciple simply eating nicely enjoying dancing what is this nonsense jesus said as long as the bridegroom is with them they enjoy it's a time for enjoyment because the bridegroom is with them as long as the light is in you they care of that light and the time will come the light will not be seen for you when the moon captures the light from the sun in the absence of sun the moon begins to shine it is in the time of prayer it is in the time of self self alone with alone spending time with the god this moon as he gets the light from the sun and begins to shine you and die not only merely a public worship like the holy mass not only we have the public retreats where we gather as a family not only as a religious we get up in the morning we have morning prayer we have morning mass we have evening prayer we have our evening adoration these are common but you and i need to have need to have a mind to mind heart to heart 
fellowship with God. It is in this fellowship we begin to shine. If Moses has to lead the people of Israel, six and a half lakh people, the light, wisdom, knowledge he has got is not sufficient. So the Lord called Moses, come up, come up. So when Moses went up, 40 days and nights, God spoke to him. When God spoke to him, the light of God transferred to the face, minds and the life of Moses. So more you have the time with him, the more of his become part of you. When the satanic game is not to take you to the Lord, even if he takes you to the Lord, he will take up your mind that instead of being with the Lord, enjoying the presence of the Lord, enjoying what he has done for us, our mind will be completely in the world. If you are not in him, you will be scattered. If you don't focus on him, you will be thrown away. So life is an art. Following the Lord is an art. It's not a mere desire. It may begin with a desire. If you don't make it as an art of living, your life is gone. The Christian art of living is be aware of who are you. Be aware how does your mind work. Be aware where do you learn to produce. Be aware the enemy who is after you. Be aware if you don't plant something in you, next moment, without your permission, the enemy will plant. And to have desire that I want to belong to God, I want to plant, is not going to take place unless you focus, unless it comes from within you, unless it becomes a hunger for you, unless it becomes a thirst for you, unless it becomes it's very urgent for you. If you don't do it, gone. That's why in the book of Isaiah, chapter 64, verse 6 onwards, if you read, it's a beautiful chapter. Lord, all our thoughts are like rags, like the dirty rags. And all our lives and minds get corrupted. Then, the seventh verse he says, why these things are happening? There is no one who calls upon you and holds on to you. Your life is a choice. If you don't hold on to the Lord, the enemy is waiting for you. To hold on to you. Yes. That's why in the book of Revelation, chapter 4, when John was crying, he says, a hand came to me. And the hand told me, a hand was shown before me. Come, my son, get inside. The voice of the Lord said to me, get inside. Get inside. Yes. When you don't hold on to the Lord, the enemy will hold you. The moment you are not making it your life you don't hold on that's why God is crying why there is no one holding on to me why there is no one calling on me and evil thought easily evil can bring in the absence of your holy thought so the moment we realize immediately we have to get into that 